Hi guys, Hannah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Minecraft barn tour. Um, this barn is still a work in progress so it's not the best at the moment um, and I will be doing an updated barn tour of this barn um, whenever I add more onto it. So anyways, let's get started. Of the barn for now it will be changed um whenever i add more to this barn um so here's the sign this is called indigo creek equestrian center um and behind it is just like this little i guess like garden but it won't be this way forever um, i plan on adding more to it so um it'll change in the future um, but then we have this long walkway up to the main barn, um, and we have four pastures, um, over here, two over here, and two over here. So we will go through that first. So over here we have our two mares pastures, and each pasture has five horses in it. Um, so... We have five horses in here so right here we have Remy and right here we have Eclipse here's Brandy and the back over here we have Athena and then she's running away from me and then we have Harmony and each pasture has a water trough in the middle of it and then they each have um, a few trees for the horses to provide shade for them. Um, over here on these little um, green areas we have a couple of finches and then over here is the second mare's pasture. So right here we have Wonder. Over here we have Juniper and Lilac. And then back here we have Harper and Holly. And same thing, water trough in the middle of the pasture. So we're going to go over to the other side now to our two gelding pastures. Which are identical to the mare's pastures, just with geldings instead. So in here we have Forest. Denver, Chevy, Asher, and Cisco. And water trough in the middle. Then over here we have our second gelding pasture. So over here we have Phantom. Then over here we have a group of three horses that are all deciding to be in the corner. Onyx and Jasper, Blue and Spade. Alright, so those are the pastures at the front of the barn. So now we're going to head back to the walkway, the middle walkway. So now this is the main barn. There are 24 stalls in it total. Um, so it's pretty big. Um, so we'll go ahead and go inside. So this is the inside of the barn. There are 12 stalls on each side. So we'll go down this row first. And this is a combination of stallion and mares in here. Um, so here we have Whiskey. He's a quarter horse stallion. And inside each stall we have a hay net, their water trough, and their grain bin. Um, and each stall has a little grass run for them to go out to. And then this is Whiskey. And I believe these stalls are 6 by 6 stalls. If you're curious, I usually make mine 6 by 6 This is Ebony. She's a Swedish warm blood mare. And they're all deciding to stay outside today, apparently. Then we have Cinco, and he's a Tennessee Walker Stallion, and he is actually named after a horse in real life um, that is kept at my barn where I board my horse.
horse at. And then right here we have Malibu, and she's a paint mare. You can kind of see her. She's a Palomino. Right here we have Kodiak, and he's a thoroughbred stallion. And then over here we have Gambler, and he's a American warm blood stallion. And he's a Big Tobiano color. Then on this other side, we have Lyra, and she's a Pony of America's mare, and she's Palomino colored. Here we have Delta, and she's a paint mare, and she's a Doppel Gray Tobiano color. Right here we have Bramble, and she's an Arabian mare, and she's a solid bay. Right here is Gunner, and he's a Lusitana stallion. He is a buckskin with a couple of socks. Then right here we have Sienna and she is an Appaloosa mare. She's a chestnut color. Maybe. Struggling. And then lastly on this side of the barn we have Maverick and he's a paint stallion and he is a black and white Tobiano color. So that is this side of the barn, so now we'll move on to the other side. So right here we have Atlas, and he's an Appaloosa sport horse. There he is. Next we have Falcon, and he's a thoroughbred stallion, and he's a chestnut. There he is. Then we have Paris, and she's an Oldenburg mare, and she's a solid gray color. Next is Dallas, and he's a quarter horse stallion, and he's a buckskin with a stripe. Next is Alaska, and she's a gray paint mare. And then we have Pistol, and he is a Dutch warm blood stallion, and he's a buckskin Tobiano color. Next over here we have Mabel and she's a Hanoverian mare and she's a bay bald face as she runs away from me. Next is Aries and he's an Andalusian stallion and he is a gray bald face. There he is. Next is Drama and she's a buckskin bald face Arabian mare. And then we have Kingston, and he is a dapple gray trackner stallion. He is a solid dapple gray, so he has no markings. Then we have Ember, and she's a Appaloosa mare, and she is a bay blanket Appaloosa. And then next, or lastly, should I say, we have Dripply, and he is an Arabian stallion. And he is a solid gray color. So now that I've introduced you to all the horses in here, we're going to move on. So over here we just have a bunch of hay, and this is just kind of where we store it. Um, so then at the back of the barn, we have our arena. So this arena took me forever to build. It's quite huge. So this is our jumping arena. I plan on adding a few more arenas in the future, but I'll take you on a quick tour of the jumps that we have. Um, so we have smaller jumps here, and then it gradually gets bigger. This is our little Liverpool jump with water at the bottom. Here's a, n another vertical. We have this vertical. Over here we have... I forget what these called, but um, it's still a vertical, but I don't remember what it's called. And then we also have this vertical here with um, a Liverpool at the bottom as well. And I do plan on adding more arenas in the future. Um, 
So next we're going to come over to the side of the barn. And we also have benches in this little walkway here. So on this side of the barn we have uh, a couple of different things. So we have our cross ties here. We have two of them. Um, and they do have a roof so that if it's raining you can still pack up and be dry. Um, so these are our cross ties slash wash bay. So there's a drain um, with black matting and they're both identical and I put them here because it's right next to the tack room. So this is the tack room. It has two entrances. So this is a tack room slash feed room. Um, so it has two purposes. So over here in this corner we just have some seating and then we have a shelf over here with some flowers. Um, so this is the tack room part of the uh, room. So over here we have um, a grooming kit, and then here we have halters and leads, and then in these two over here we have saddles, and then up top we have saddle pads, whether it be jumping or western. Then in this little room over here we have tack lockers. Um, so each tack locker has a barrel in it and some shelves. So this is my tack locker. And it just has all of my stuff in it and it has a trap door which is I which I've used as a shelf and then it has a, la a lantern up at the top to give it some lighting and then we have more seating here as well then this is the feed room part of the room so we have our different feeds we have sweet feed we have senior feed whoops we have senior feed and then we have our performance feed, and then we have our treats, which we have um, different apples and carrots in here. And then up here on this cabinet, we have our supplements and some dewarmer at the bottom. And we just have this little um, desktop with a sink and some shelves. So now we're going to go to the other end of the barn. Whoops, I definitely did not mean to do that. Um, I will definitely fix that. Um, so we're going to go to the other end of the barn right now. So over at this end of the barn, we have our breeding center is what I've called it. Um, for now, I might change it in the future, um, but we have our breeding area over here. So this is the breeding barn. So this is where we will keep the mares in here with their babies. Um, so it's an extra big stall. And then it has a hay net in here as well. And we have two of them. This one actually has a water trough, which this one is supposed to have a water trough as well. I think I just forgot to put it in there. Then we have hay storage over here, and then over here we have a sink, a desktop, and then in here we have our golden apples um, for breeding. And then once the bulls are big enough, they can be moved out here. So these are our breeding paddocks, um, or our foaling paddocks, or whatever you want to call them. And it's for when the baby gets old enough and it can stay out here with its mom until it's time to be weaned. And so we have um, a water trough and then we have this little shelter in case it starts raining. And we have two of them. So that is the end of the barn tour. Um, like I said at the beginning, this barn is definitely a work in progress. So I will be adding more fun stuff to this barn in the future. So I will probably eventually do a updated barn tour of this world. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the barn tour today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!